Oh, here we are. Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments video. Can't believe I'm going to save this. Video number 24. And if you remember, because I don't, I've not played it for 24 hours. If you remember, we were on the hunt for the secretary, Ms. White. That's what we were going to do. Um, right. Let's see what we can find here. I think we already did these ones. Right. Report. So that's that one. That's that one. What else haven't we done? And it seems clear from these multiple experiments that plants to respond to their environment. Study report. Yeah, we did both of these before. What have I missed then? Have I missed anything? A lamp, stethoscope, cupboards, chair. Let's do that one. Eight two one. Just to make sure we've done it. Martin Hamish's perception of plants. The notion of communication in the plant world has long been considered marginal, yet I remain convinced that some plants do indeed transmit chemical signals in the event of attack. A study report by Martin Hamish. Yes. Right. So why is it still white? Oh, we need something. We need to... Ah, uh, we probably need to put... A tube in there, a recording tube. Let's see what we've got here. This is a table for experiments. It resembles my own. Only this one is kept in good order, Holmes. Okay, so that didn't actually tell us anything. So I'm not surprised because uh, Watson stood next to it. So, what's left in this room to peruse? Oh, what's that? Jacket and door. Been in here? I think we did. What do we not? No, we haven't. Okay. Albert's locker. Albert Dunn. Albert's locker. Okay, press the T button. Let's see if we can spot something. Albert's up. Young Albert standing with a woman in front of London University. Fair enough. Hat, some books, coat, coat. A refusal letter. A rejection letter from the British Royal Naval College. Royal Navy School of NCOs Recruitment Centre, London. Sir, it is my regret to inform you that despite your excellent results within our entry examinations, we are unable to invite you to the Royal Navy School. Your father, Mr Montague Dunn, has expressed his intention to entrust you to the directorship of the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. And it is clear that he would not release you for an entire year of naval training. Please accept our best wishes for your future at Kew Gardens. It's a strange rejection letter at best. Right, so that's that. We've covered that much, yes. So this one is Martin Hamish. Martin Hamish's locker. I don't trust this guy, but... A review on rare and exotic plants. Martin Hamish has written several pieces. Fair enough. A letter from Martin Hamish. Mr. General Secretary. Recent events unfolding at Kew Gardens oblige me to renew my application for the management position. As I have stated already in my previous letters, I believe that no one is better suited for the post. While Mr Montague Dunn was alive, I understood your reservation to my suggestion. Your reasons were political, and so I was happy to comply. But now the Kew Gardens lie in disorder. How can I stand by and allow it? How can I leave them in the hands of inexperienced people with no motivation? I must urge you to cast your decision as a matter of urgency so that I may devote myself entirely to the noble task ahead and free my mind from this uncertainty. Ooh, some good tips in there for writing letters for uh, begging for a pay rise. Right, um, photograph. Let me turn it over. Father and I, Kew Gardens. Okay. A hat, some books. Martin Hamish studied chemistry. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Poisons, maybe? What's this, a chair? Ah, Miss White. 
Or is she so white as we don't believe? Miss White's locker. Apparently, Miss White is a capable student. Uh -huh. White's request. A draft of the letter that Miss White sent to her parents. Dear mother and father, I am writing this letter with a reluctance to ask for your help. My studies and my housing costs have proven to be more expensive than I had anticipated. I fear, therefore, that I may not be able to manage in the long term. I know that we have had our disagreements in the past, but would you be so heartless as to allow your daughter to fail her studies due to lack of money, Margaret? Okay, that's her letter. Nice little bonnet there. Jewelry box. Okay. These jewels must be worth a small fortune. Hmm. Vanity purse. A vanity purse. It is of high quality. Can we rotate it. We can. We look inside. Aha. Margaret, we were surprised to receive your letter. How could you think to ask us for money after all of these years that have passed since you left and without any thought of us? You have never shared with us any detail of your success at the university, but you choose to do so now. We suppose you must be ashamed of us, for we are not from the same high class as your new friends. Yes, we are modest people, but you should learn to put your family first, as we at home has always done. And none of us ever compromised their reputation, as it appears you have already, already done with your employer, Mr. Dunn. No, Margaret, it is you who makes us feel ashamed. Okay, fair enough. Rather harsh letter from the parents there. Am I missing anything? Jewelry box is done. Or is it? Have we missed anything on this jewelry box? And cover's already open. Have we missed anything? I don't think so. No hidden. It's almost like there's a hidden compartment there. But with no way to open it. Hmm. Okay, I think that's done. I'm not seeing any hidden things. I mean, I think there is, but that's not letting me do it. Okay. I can step out of that one. Hmm, I still think there's something else to be found. Miss White's locker. Miss White's locker. Because it usually goes green. When you've discovered everything, it goes green. That's not lit up. It's got to be something with that. What have we missed? Ah, no. Hmm. What are we missing? Something around there, I'm sure. I'm sure we missed something on this. But we shall leave it for now. And return. Okay. And nothing else in here. And I don't see much more in here. Now we did have... My memory serves me right. I don't think there's anything over here. We did have another room to explore. Okay. Okay. Right. Come on, Dr. Watson. I believe that there was some more to be explored that we couldn't gain entry to. Nursery. Yeah, this was locked before. Okay. Right. These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. That's why it's called a nursery. Nothing in there. Work desk. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. A glasses case. It is empty. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Okay. Nothing of value there, what's that? An award presented to Martin Hamish for Best Grower of the Year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. A master's degree diploma. It belongs to Martin Hamish. Okay, so he is educated. Ooh, a lot more here. Who's a voter? Can't read the names. Uh, Martin Hamish. <laughs> okay. 
I would say that's more of a shrine. Anyway. Right, exhibition. Rare and exotic plants. Kew Gardens. Ooh, is that the things that are missing? Plants from the east and the land of a rising sun. So we're missing a thing that looks like a pineapple. A couple of very large, um, almost like uh, Venetian fly traps. Hmm. Yes, yeah, some exotic plants indeed. What's here? Nothing. Okay. Here. Nothing. Here. Nothing. Here. File. No. Nope. Here. Plants. Nothing. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. What are we missing then? Down on the floor. Anything on the floor? Nope. Hmm. What's this? Okay. And this leads to... Ah. Grow a shed. Anything in here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Oh, something undercover. Not that we can see at the moment. Some more plants. And more plants. Okay. Nothing... Oh, I thought it was just an idiot blocking my way again. What's that? Nothing? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing here. Don't block me in again, Dr. Watson. The seeds of plant species are stored here. Okay. Okay. What's that here? Locked. Not anymore. Right. And this one... The seed house. Seed house. Can we go any further? Open. Ah! You. I want to talk to you, my dear. Books. Seed, pollination. From window. here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's work desk. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to stop the video here because the wife wants to talk to me. Just one second.